Since last year, with the onset of the Russia-Ukraine war, the Russian army has become the busiest branch of the military. This is primarily because the main battlefield in Russia's invasion of Ukraine is on land. Many have commended the Russian army's ability to adapt against Ukraine, which has received significant Western support. It's important to note that Ukraine has received around 80 billion US dollars in military, humanitarian, and financial aid from Western countries. Given this substantial assistance, it's intriguing to delve deeper into the strength of the Russian army. This force, with only about 550,000 troops, has managed to hold off Ukraine, the United States, and NATO. To discuss the capabilities of the Russian army, we need to start by examining the firearms used by Russian military personnel. The Russian army uses a wide variety of firearms ranging from personal weapons to those designed to counter heavy military equipment. Let's break this down into a few categories. Starting with pistols, the SR-1 vector stands out as it is used by the Spetsnaz, Russia's elite forces. This weapon is relatively lightweight at approximately 2.09 pounds. The 18 bullets it can carry travel at a speed of about 1,378 feet per second, with a range of up to approximately 328 feet. This makes it highly suitable for covert operations. Then there is the PP-19 Vityaz light machine gun, also used by the Spetsnaz. It has a firing rate of 800 rounds per minute and a shooting range of approximately 656 feet. This weapon is typically used for ambush missions requiring a light yet effective firearm. Next is the AN-94 assault rifle, again used by the Spetsnaz in raid or combat missions. It has a firing rate of 1,800 rounds per minute and a shooting range of approximately 2,625 feet. Lastly, there is the OSV-96 sniper rifle, restricted to Spetsnaz and President Putin's guards. This sniper rifle has a range of up to approximately 6,562 feet, with a bullet speed of about 2,986 feet per second. This capability gives Russian snipers a deadly edge. To disperse armed groups, the Russian army also operates the AGS-40 Balkan grenade launcher. This weapon carries 20 grenades, ready to be launched up to a range of about 8,202 feet. With this amount of ammunition, enemy armed groups can be thrown into disarray. When it comes to firearms used against military equipment, the Russian army has a plethora of weapons. Let's start with the heavy machine guns used in Ukraine, such as the DSHK. This machine gun has a firing rate of 600 rounds per minute and a range of up to about 8,202 feet. The DSHK is very effective against light armored vehicles. There's also the ATGM or Anti-Tank Guided Missile, where Russia uses the 9M133 Cornet that employs beam riding anti-tank technology. This ATGM ammunition can reach targets up to approximately 6.2 miles with an accuracy level of less than about 16 feet. With a 4.6 kilogram warhead, the 9M133 Cornet can be a nightmare for enemy tanks. In conquering tanks, Russia not only uses ATGMs, but also employs PTKM-1R anti-tank mines to block the path of Ukrainian tanks. Moreover, the Russian army aims not only at ground military equipment, but also at aerial assets. This comes from the use of man pads, man portable air defense system, like the 9K333 Verba. This man pads can reach speeds of up to approximately 1,118 miles per hour, with a range of up to about 4.04 miles and a maximum altitude of about 2.8 miles. With these capabilities combined with an advanced infrared guidance system, the 9K333 Verba with a 1.5 kilogram warhead can be a decisive factor in modern warfare involving missiles, drones, and fighter jets. Besides offensive equipment, the Russian military also uses defensive gear, such as the 6B45 bulletproof vest, 6B46 tactical vest, and 6B47 military helmet. Thus, the individual equipment used by the Russian army is indeed very formidable.
When discussing the strength of the army, it's not just about the firearms they use, but also the land armaments. As one of the countries with the largest military budgets in the world, capable of allocating up to 86.4 billion US dollars, Russia undoubtedly possesses an extensive array of armaments to bolster its army's strength. Let's start with tanks. Russia is known as a world-renowned tank manufacturer, and several of its tank variants have sold hundreds of units to various countries. For their use, Russia employs a variety of tank models they have developed. Of all the tanks used by Russia, the T-90 currently stands as the best frontline option. In its deployment in Ukraine, this tank has destroyed Ukrainian military hardware. In terms of specifications, the T-90 is armed with a 2A46M 125mm smoothbore gun equipped with an advanced autoloader system. This main weapon can fire various types of ammunition such as APFSDS, armor-piercing, fin-stabilized, discarding Sabo for high penetration and heat, high-explosive anti-tank ammunition. Combined with its operational capability to travel up to about 342 miles with a speed of about 37 miles per hour, the T-90 is an apt choice for prolonged combat as seen in its success against the Leopard 2 in the Ukrainian fields. After tanks, there are other types of armaments, such as artillery launchers. According to available data, Russia uses various artillery pieces, primarily originating from Soviet-era legacies and independently developed by Russia. In the Russian invasion of Ukraine, the artillery lineup utilized the 2K25 Krasnopol ammunition. This ammunition has an 11 kilogram high explosive warhead. Its range reaches up to about 25 miles and is equipped with a laser guidance system supported by GLONASS GPS technology, providing this ammunition with efficient maneuvering and firing paths. Therefore, it's no surprise that this artillery ammunition has struck and destroyed Ukrainian artillery units. Next, let's move on to another type of attack armament, armored vehicles. Russia uses a variety of armored vehicles, ranging from infantry fighting vehicles and tank destroyers to personnel carriers. Of all the armored vehicles possessed by Russia, the BMP Infantry Fighting Vehicle is the most commonly used in the invasion of Ukraine. Unfortunately, these infantry fighting vehicles have often met with misfortune at the front lines, from being destroyed by drones to being hijacked by Ukrainian soldiers. This has led to a decrease in the use of armored vehicles in military operations there, and when they are used, they are typically accompanied by heavy combat vehicles like tanks. After discussing the vehicles used for attacks, let's shift to discussing armaments used for defense, such as air defense systems. In Russia, air defense systems are comprehensive and divided into three categories, short range, medium range, and long range. Each of these air defense systems has its specific role. Short-range air defense systems are tasked with attacking helicopters and low-flying aircraft, such as the American A-10 or the Russian Su-25. Medium-range systems are responsible for intercepting cruise missiles and short-range ballistic missiles. Long-range air defense systems are designed to intercept medium and long-range ballistic missiles. In the war against Ukraine, Russia's air defense systems have repeatedly proven themselves by destroying drones and Ukrainian missiles. When discussing the strength of the Russian army, one crucial aspect that cannot be overlooked is their control over nuclear warhead weaponry. In Russia, there is a missile known as Satan II. This missile, officially named RS-28 Sarmat, carries a nuclear warhead. Its range is formidable, reaching up to approximately 11,185 miles. When launched, this missile can not only reach Ukraine, but can also cover all of Europe and even the United States. With a single strike, cities as large as London, Amsterdam, or Washington DC could be leveled. After examining the capabilities of the Russian army, from firearms to various types of armaments, 
The question now is, what's next for Russia? In the Russia-Ukraine war, Russia has realized the effectiveness of drone usage, as their drones have achieved significant success. For instance, the Jaren-2 drone successfully attacked urban areas in Ukraine. The Jaren-2, based on Iran's Shahed-136, can travel up to approximately 1,553 miles with a speed of about 115 miles per hour. Additionally, there is the Lancet drone, which is now adapted to counter Ukraine's electronic warfare threats, enabling more precise attacks. Observing the success of these two drones, Russia is currently developing more advanced drones like the Luke Corsar and Kronstadt Sirius. These drones will play a crucial role as they can be used for reconnaissance or as attack armaments. Regarding ground armaments, Russia is developing the Armada Universal Combat Platform. As the name suggests, this platform is a versatile ground armament system usable for main battle tanks like the T-14 Armada, heavy infantry fighting vehicles like the T-15 Armada, and artillery launchers like the 2S-35. This development is part of Russia's effort to enhance their production capacity for armaments and standardize the technology used. Given the strength of its army, it's no surprise that Russia can adapt against Ukraine, which is assisted by the United States and other European countries. Russia's arsenal of sophisticated weaponry and its substantial military budget are key factors in this adaptability.